Hi everyone, I'm Jules Mary on behalf of GenScript and today we're interviewing iGEM University of Malaga. So uh, iGEM uh, UMA, can you please tell me more about your project Star STEM? Well, uh, we are the Malaga team, as you say, and our name team is Star STEM and we are making um, a biological um, tool uh, with uh, the E. coli that our plan is to extract the cellulose of the vegetal diseases, diseases, okay. no, uh, <laughs> residues, <laughs> residues of, of our countryside and with the E. coli uh, that is modified, uh, transformed to glucose and after uh, uh, get the starch and that's the like the base of our plan. Um, well, this uh, we are thinking in a in a on-off uh, regulation. Switch. A switch regulation. A know. switch regulation. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, continue, Paula. Well, I'm part of a dry lab team, and we are making right now the pieces to do that uh, that way uh, so we can make uh, from cellulose we can make it to glucose and transform into starch so we are looking at the moment how to do it looking at the genes the promoters and everything so this is our problem. In, uh, this is our project in a nutshell, more or less. So, what would the methodology look like for converting the the cellulose to the starch? So, you mentioned that you are um, looking up genes right now and uh, formatting uh, what type of pathways you will be changing to make the switch. So, uh, what kind of uh, biochemistry and uh, synthetic biology pathways are you trying to introduce into your project? Well, uh, we are looking right now at the genes that make cellulose uh, by um, another um, beings like um, yeast. Some yeast uh, have a, a, group of, um, a group of proteins that make the three steps to uh, from cellulose to create glucose. They are endogluconase, exogluconase, and beta glucosidase. So we are making uh, the three genes, one uh, about the other, so we can make the progress. And the part from glucose to starch, we have uh, this regulating process. It's like you get a, a gene, and if you overexpress it, we will get a molecule who is like starch, and it's our product. It will be so uh, we get a um, metabolism path that it's already used and we make it um, and we transform it so we can get the product that we want will be something like that. And I'm sure that um, converting used waste into starch would definitely have such a great environmental impact. So what inspired your team to pursue such a sustainable project? Well, we have the inspiration of all our countryside uh, workers that are uh, all the time uh, producing. We have a very big industrial in that part uh, with Almeria. Uh, I don't know if you know that we have a lot of uh, cultural tomato, of, um, a lot of things. So um, uh, we are thinking that all the, um, all the, rest of these vegetables are burned, literally. They are 
for nothing. They are used for nothing. So uh, we take the the this uh, this part and transform it to something that we can use uh, in other parts of the countryside, like the starch that is could be used in in uh, farms and pisciculture and other type of things. Also for making by plastic or for example, biofuel. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, but, well, that's uh, the base uh, because, well, um, if you go to a walk to uh, any type of, of country, uh, countryside, sorry, uh, you will see uh, some fire and that's something that impacts you because at first time this, this is uh, some materials that can be used for something and they are all wasted. Uh, so this is, I think, the most important part of the project that all these, um, all these material can be used to something uh, new. Um, it's giving a new life to that uh, residual uh, plants, and uh, we avoid um, that pollution that it creates when they are burned. They all are inside the economic uh, cycle and also the sustainability. And lastly, in our university are uh, lots of projects involved with plants. So they have to grow a lot of plants every year. And also uh, EHSM, who is an um, uh, institution related to the university, who is also uh, helping us. Uh, they have um, tons of wastes from those studies. So we, we will get the wastes and we will use it. So th that's the start. That's the, the sprout to make this project also. So it sounds like there are a lot of levels of impact here because um, you're aiming to reduce the air pollution caused by um, the current way that the, the waste is being taken care of, as well as uh, encouraging the <clears throat> encouraging the proper elimination of the waste and then also being economic, economically conservative, um, which definitely impacts the community in a lot of positive ways um, as far as the environment, um, health in the community and uh, the economy. So uh, how are you using your human practices to bring awareness to uh, the different levels of impact your project could make? Well, uh, we are making a lot of divulgation about this um, about these um, topics. topics. Uh, so, uh, this we are think uh, we are planning by now. Uh, well, at first we are going to a lot of schools and high school to talk about this problem, uh, to talk about the starch, the the waste of all of the. The agriculture uh, diseases and diseases wasted. Uh, so, yes, we are uh, making a um, social impact within, and we are uh, we have plans. Uh, we have plans about making this to the countryside, to to more towns, and uh, not like only the city, but the all the the province. You know the. We are also making, uh, we are participating in workshops at our university for students on a second year of uh, biology and biochemistry uh, because they have some uh, um, signatures, uh, no, to, um, subjects, subjects <laughs> uh, about metabolism and uh, we are giving talks there to uh, let them know what are we doing uh, in the, for the IGM competition. Uh, what's the IGM competition so they can uh, maybe participate another year. And also uh, 
let introduce them to uh, the uh, synthetic biology. And um, for that, um, we are happy. Uh, we have the help of Limba Yuma, that is an organization of the University of Malaga. Also, we have uh, the uh, the uh, all the support of uh, our department, that is of synthetic biology and biochemistry and molecular biology. And yes, we are making plans of do a lot of. Uh, a, lot, a lot of more things that we are doing to know. Um, uh, we have also a schedule to meetings with the local radio to let people know that there is a problem here in their own city and that we are trying to solve them. We just spread the information uh, also with social media posts and everything like that. We also went to the town hall of Malaga, uh, searching some uh, kind of synergies we can establish uh, with a institution like that to, to uh, get straight uh, in our project in different areas, like uh, the economic area uh, that is now very important to develop uh, our project in the wet lab and also to get to Paris. I think that's really incredible that you your team is trying to reach different um, different er, uh, generations or different uh, groups within your community to um, engage them to learn more about the impact your project has and um, even taking civic action to uh, make sure your town is also aware is uh, really great. And I think it will definitely go um, a long way to raise awareness in your town and your community and hopefully beyond that. Um, is there anything else you would like our audience to know about your project? Well, they can follow us on social media <laughs> where, we are, where we are going to post uh, all the things we do. And uh, today we started to introduce our team members. We have members from uh, informatic uh, engineering, engineering uh, from uh, biochemistry, uh, biology, um, ambiental, <laughs> science, ambiental science, and publicity and relationships. Yes. And thank you very much. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so also, much for meeting with me. Oh, go ahead. Also, yeah, also it would be, uh, uh, we have to um, great, uh, we can make this project because Link Bayuma helped us and gave us the start money. So we can make this big project something. So they are also a big part of this. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me, iGEM University of Malaga. Um, on behalf of GenScript, we wish you the best of luck in the iGEM Jamboree and in our iGEM sponsorship competition. Uh, thank you so much for meeting with me and uh, best of luck. And thank, you. Thank, you. thank you to you. Thank you.